The next question I'm being asked is about police clearances and if they are mandatory for spousal sponsorship applications. So yes, they are. So this is something that can cause a lot of delays. For example, you've uh, recently married or you're in a common law relationship. You're going to file an overseas spousal sponsorship or an inland spousal sponsorship. You're very excited to file the application so that your partner can finally become a permanent resident of Canada, either to continue living in Canada or for your partner to finally move to Canada. And then when you come to prepare the application, you have all the photos, you have all the information, and then it's asking for police clearances. And in some cases, it can take a very, very long time to get the police, uh, we say police clearance or police certificate or clearances. And this is for the person being sponsored, so the applicant. And these clearances are required for all the countries that the applicant, the person that you're sponsoring, has lived in for more than six months since the age of 18. In most of our cases, I would say that usually it's one country or two, but sometimes you may have people who have lived in a lot of countries for a very long time and they need like three four clearances from various places and sometimes it can take a week sometimes some countries it could take a month and we have some cases where it actually takes months and months to get a police certificate and if you don't have your that those certificates then you can actually not file your application and it can cause a lot of disappointment so the best advice i can do is if you are planning to one day file a spousal sponsorship, you know that's what you're doing for sure, that's your future plan for your couple, look into how long it's going to take. Maybe it's just going to take a few weeks and that's fine. But if you come from, um, if you've lived in certain countries, I know for example for Germany, um, it could take a very, very long time, sometimes even months, and it could really um, disappoint and delay the whole application. So make sure that you do your research properly and don't think that you can file the spousal sponsorship and put a note that says, I'm going to submit this later. The application is actually going to be rejected or canceled or returned or worst case refused because you don't meet the mandatory requirements for the spousal sponsorship. I hope this was helpful.